right, so Martin and I are in the pickle truck heading to the dyno over at Y2 Racing. Uh, Daryl Eagles, kind enough to let us use his dyno jet to see what kind of numbers this bad boy's gonna put down. So, Martin, what you got? Um, let's go 750. 750? Yeah. Saying it's gonna be a heartbreaker dyno today. <laughs> I think if we went to Pro Tree, it would probably dyno 750, not a maybe, <laughs> not over. Y2, I'm confident. Y2, we're gonna get that 800. I'm, I'm pretty yeah. confident. In that. Yeah, happy dyno today. <laughs> Please be happy. <Yeah. laughs> but again, I really don't care about dyno numbers. It's because the internet wants to see this. So you're welcome, internet. We're doing it for you. And then I'm gonna go to the track. Hopefully this weekend and get some real world numbers out of this setup because that's what matters, not dynos. Anyway. We're here. two shop truck it's got a three liter Whipple supercharger on it and custom tuning has finally been released for these trucks so last week we did uh, our baseline tune on 93 octane we didn't get any dyno numbers on it uh, but we did gain two tenths in the eighth mile so we were really impressed with those results um, so now we did a triple pump fuel system ID 1000 injectors and E85 and custom tuning through Palm Beach dyno with Rob Shoemaker so we're gonna see what she lays down. We're on a 3.5 pulley. It should make around 14 PSI of boost. Uh, I'm expecting to see around 800 volt horsepower today, but we'll see what happens. Seeing the results from the first poll, we were left a little disappointed and kind of scratching our heads a little bit because we were definitely expecting a lot more. One thing that we realized is that we only had 20 PSI in the rear tires, which isn't ideal for the dyno. So we aired them up to 30 and tried it again. And we made 725. Still disappointing. All right, so we brought the truck to the diner the other day, and long story short, it definitely broke my heart. So on E85 and 12 PSI, the truck put down 725 rear wheel horsepower. I was expecting it to be at least closer to you know high 700s maybe crack 800. a dyno is just a tool um, i don't get fixated on dyno numbers um, but i know a lot of people like to see them and of course the higher the number the more cool you feel and all that good stuff but for me i'm all about 
real world numbers. So what does that mean? That means, you know, track times, um, and then we have draggy data as well that we can track. So one thing that I did is I collected some draggy data on the truck. Um, I'm not done yet, um, but I do have some data on the truck so far. It's been a best of 8.360 to 130, um, which is making some steam for a big four-door truck. Um, and the previous best on 93 was a 9.9. So, I mean, that's a significant, um, significant time difference. So, obviously, we're making a lot more power than we were on 93, but the dyno, you know, the dyno reading was low. I may try and bring it to another one just to see what it's going to do. Um, and then I'm also playing around with some other stuff. 